Today I'm going to teach you how to get rid of a nag message. A nag message is like a little message pop-up that pops up sometimes when you open up a program. Alright? Like you can say like, oh, register me and stuff or something like that. And you can only click OK. Um, Alright, we're going to be using this crack me, or I mean this program. Yeah, when I click to run it, it says your trial has ended. Alright, like a lot of programs I've noticed I always say that kind of stuff. And then when you press OK, like usually when you press OK, the program just exit. But this program it still runs anyway. It's okay, but that's not the point. Anyway, I'm going to tell you to get rid of that beginning message that bothers, that pops up all the time. Um, we're going to make that program, we're going to drag it into AliDBG. We're going to search for that message that. Um, yeah, right click, search for, as you already know, all reference text string. We're going to search for that message that pops up that says your trial has ended. Yeah. Oh, what I did here was I right click, I click search for text. Alright, make sure none of these are checked. You click OK. And you land here. But, where is it? Well, you land here, even though the yeah, right next to it says right here, your trial has ended. Double click on that. Okay. Um. All right. This is the thing that to kill me. It says that on the top of your your trial has ended message. All right. This is the message itself, and this is the box of the message. Basically, everything from here to here is all. It's all that nag message that pops up. Okay, um, we're gonna disable this by right clicking, binary. We do this a lot. Uh, fill up NLPs. Alright, now when you click play, the program just pops up and you don't get that nag message anymore. Uh, another interesting thing about this program is it makes it so that, like, it froze the activate button, you see? So even if I type in the right name and the right serial, even if, it's, even if this was the right answer I can't click activate on uh, another tutorial I'll teach you how to unfreeze a button like this